The Open is over and many of you are asking, now what? If you made the top 10%, congratulations, you've earned it. Our RX path will be prepping for quarterfinals over the next two weeks. We will provide you with a comprehensive peaking structure along with detailed warm-ups, pacing plans, and tip videos for each of the quarterfinal workouts. And this will only be delivered to our TDT Compete athletes. This will not be public facing. For those who did not qualify inside of the top 10%, our intermediate path will start a three week base building program that will help you build the foundation for your off season, where we work on strength and gymnastics development protocols so you can reach your goal of making the top 10% next year. Masters athletes, we have four weeks before the age group quarterfinal, which means we are in full swing prepping you for your biggest competition of the year. We have included structured strength and CrossFit progressions that will lead us directly into the quarterfinal weekend, including a quarterfinal simulation with our entire Masters community this weekend. And our elite path, if you have made semifinals, we will write a personalized program for you to properly peak you for the week you're competing. Come join TDT Compete right now. Go to trainingthinktank.com. All right, Max, the <laughs> Open is officially over today. My, the last workout was by far my favorite. I want to hear yeah. your thoughts just real quick before we jump into uh, talking about quarterfinals. Put me on we, the spot. No, we had Hope, a podcast. Pull your mic up a little bit. Yeah, come on. This is his 3,000th yeah, podcast. We, we talked about this like probably six months ago about what you would do if you were programming the open workouts yeah. and you had like this idea of like maybe more general skills and making sure you're testing kind of well-rounded fitness. Now that you've seen all three open workouts, mm -hmm. if you had to rate this on a scale of one to 10, where are you rating 23.1 through three? Ooh, I'm going to get time to elaborate on it, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll give it like a, an eight. All right. Is that a C plus B minus? I mean, in today's world, it's probably an A. What, what is an 80? Yeah. <laughs> What's an 80 in school? A plus. <laughs> yeah, good job. Everyone wins. Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Well, first of all, we, uh, and I th what was the last podcast where I said I wanted to do a progressive intensity wall walk, deadlift, a strict hand or kipping hands to push up? I feel yeah. like I got pretty close, we, except yeah, we there were close. snatches. They heard it. They, 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 they <laughs> changed it. All the standards know, changed. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. demo. Yeah, they already had all the floor plans laid out. They're like, oh, we got to change it now that it snatches. I mean, just to kind of hate on you a little bit, what else would they <laughs> yeah, have done? No, no. <laughs> there weren't be. so many <laughs> movements. I all will right, say fine. the one surprise for me was not having much squatting, which, yeah. you know, we can talk about in a minute talking about quarterfinals, but, uh, you know, only 40 wall balls. And then the rest of it was kind of upper body gymnastics. Uh, you know, the, the ring muscle ups were kind of the... I guess the separator in workout one yeah. and then the burpee was the separator in workout two and then the handstand pushups in workout three. So are they going to change the test for quarterfinals to make sure it's more well-rounded? I mean, I'm guessing so. I, you know, it's hard because they say it's the, like the whole thing for the whole community, but it doesn't really ever test the main thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, and the short time domain as an example is like never really tested. If you say, well, most people are only doing that first two rounds of the, 23.3 workout so it's a six minute workout you maybe could make the argument that it's short mm. but still not really yeah, that's it's not, not that powered. short but, but think about how mad people would be if, if it, it was just like came a 60 out. second test <laughs> yeah, i know that's it I trained all year for this yeah. yeah but that just shows that people are not actually like training fitness so much as training the things that they want that come out in the sport like yeah. because most people are only doing the open and quarterfinals that being said i know that the purpose of it isn't to get perfect testing. It's sure. also to make cool workouts. And I honestly feel it's pretty good. I think the one, the, or I guess the couple things that I think are strange is that the time frames are almost always the same, which I, I would like if there was shorter, medium, longer, like we have three I weeks agree. that, or it's like short rest, something longer or short rest, something medium duration, just so we have a little bit more variation in that. If you have the logistics of not pissing off the community by giving something small. Yeah. So this year they had 14 minutes, 15 minutes, 12 minutes. Yeah. Assuming you got to that last bar. So they were all very close. Yeah. In and I would say like most people is probably nine minutes for the, like most real, like people who are really interested in CrossFit, not just like the general I'm showing up for classes. Most people it's nine, 14, 15. Sure. So it was a little strange. The, I like the one RM thruster being the test. I did not like the standard implementation of that. Like some people were stepping forward. Some people were jerking in videos that I saw. And I think when you don't have like spe real specific clarity, like, Hey, your feet can't move and it has to go up in one motion. If there's any rebend or step, then it's not a rep. I think Much easier to judge. Yeah, to me, just, that's one of those ones where I'm like, how in their testing did this not come up? Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? It yeah. seems like, how did it get that far? 
where it was on us to be like, well, this is sketchy. Yeah. And it, and then it, it goes deeper into the community. It turns into YouTube videos, <laughs> hating on it. Yeah. And then people posting videos of people's shitty videos. And I'm like, Oh God, like there's a whole team of people. Somebody had to have been like, Hey, let's, this is not a good idea. I'm, we shouldn't. I'm, I'm going to be fair to CrossFit. We've also made those mistakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We think we've That's made true. all the, yeah. you know, d- dot the I, cross the T and, and make mistakes. But to, to your point. So you think had, that's one we would have let slip? Absolutely not. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> no, I was going to say to Max's point, they had all year to I think know, about this yeah. and they still screwed it up. And, but you know, it is what it is. Let me yeah. ask you this. Okay. Talk about another standard, the new handstand push up standard. Yay or nay. Ooh, just as a one vote. Um, Heck yeah. Heck I no. would say, Oh yeah, there yeah, we go. I would say heck yeah. Better than the others. Yes. But I still think that maybe there can be a little bit more testing to figure out what makes sense. It seems anytime you have a fixed length, just as an example, the average female competitor is probably 5'5 five, five to 5'3, five, and then the average male competitor is probably 5'8 to 6 foot tall or yeah. something like that, which means that the shoulder discrepancy in terms of how broad the shoulder girdle is is way different. So if you go back and watch our demo and you watch Perrin, who's a shorter female athlete like her hands are put in a place where she's basically like going like this yeah. to go up it's and a down. normal handstand push yeah. up for her and then you see somebody who's six foot two they're going to be like much tighter relative to where their shoulder line is so anytime you have a fixed standard it's the same thing with the pull-up bar for the bar muscle ups or for the burpee pull-ups when somebody's body proportions set them up that it's an automatic disadvantage in the workout based on the standard, not just based on physics, not like, well, you're shorter. So wall balls is harder because that's the, I just, I, I don't like that. I feel like we could come up with better solutions. Would be a better solution I, I don't one. know. Kyle I feel Ruth like- has one where you essentially would take your wingspan, cut it in half and that's your box. But his argument always is what Max is saying here where, well, it's not fair to the taller athletes. My argument back is, well, then for the lighter athlete that snatches something heavy, they should get a body weight distribution. Yeah, there. Or yeah. on the row erg, you should yeah. get less cows. Or on wall balls, you should have a shorter target if yeah. you're shorter. Yeah. The sport is just made to self-select for smaller athletes. And I know that that sucks for the taller athlete, but the NBA self-selects yeah. for taller athletes. Or the NFL self-selects for big athletic Faster, men. Yeah. And, and so it's just, that's the name of the game. And I don't think it's fair to... I like it because they have a, a true standard now where yeah. there is no gray line. Well, there. well, the other thing is that it's impossible to enforce that standard with a singular judge. You can either that is true. You're watch right. the back and see if somebody's ass stays on the wall, or you can watch the front and see if their feet go too wide. You can't see both. I do the former. You, <laughs> you are right. That actually was one thing. Yeah. I, I had a note of that earlier. It is very hard to judge. And we yeah. saw some people that were kind of skirting that line. Yeah. Everyone's going to be there because it's just the handstand pushup in general is going to be tough to judge. But that same thing happened when they had the box. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's why I said I don't know what the solution is to that movement in general. It's just a it's a challenging movement. But like I said, I would say yes to that standard as of all the ones that came up in the open. Like there was the from your knuckle to here. There was like put your hands up there right. and make a little University of Miami <laughs> sign. That's and then the take U, three, baby. yeah, take three inches off, divide it by 85 <laughs> squared. And maybe, that's your maybe line. Maybe the answer is we start doing a little more dumbbell and barbell pressing. Yeah. Why do we got to be upside down all the fucking time? <laughs> yeah. I, I actually wouldn't mind that. That'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. Or like a freestanding, but then you're talking about, it's not universally applicable. You yeah. can't put it in the open right. or you'd have to put it in the open deeper into the workout yeah. or tell everyone well ahead of time. Yeah. Like, Hey, prep. this is, yeah, this is what we're doing and this is how we're going away from it. Cause they made a big deal last year about going away from the back to wall handstand and going to a wall facing. Cause that's better for training gymnastics. But all of those are really accessory tools for training in gymnastics because they're doing like handstands on rings <laughs> exactly. and on parallel bars. Totally and different. Like, yeah. So we got to kind of figure out, again, it's almost like a crisis of culture. It's like, what, what are the most important parts of fitness? If it's really gymnastics, the sport of CrossFit tests gymnastics pretty poorly relative sure. to like, we're almost national level in lifting. But in terms of like remedial gymnastics skills, I have... I've coached multiple games athletes that can't do a lot of just basic gymnastics. Like, hey, this is like a level two skill or something kind of easy. Yeah. 
So all right. it's just interesting. We're talking about quarterfinals this podcast. We had all of that, <laughs> yeah. but, but but let's tie the open yeah. into this because hold on. I I love I thought that this was a great open though. I said yeah. give it an eight out of ten. Some of the previous <laughs> opens I would have given a three out of ten. So I want to say <laughs> okay. that this is, this is good. We're on the, the yeah, we're on the <laughs> way up. Yeah, we're climbing. <laughs> Hopefully we don't come back down <laughs> the other side. <laughs> hold on, sorry, I'm gonna derail one more time. Oh, okay. What's the best open? That, I think this one is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I there you go. So. See, that's so funny because if you just never, if we never got yeah. to that point, you would Man. probably just heard yeah, shit, I, well, I actually, shit. And now you just said it was the best. Yeah. So, and do I like? Do Workout you want to go to quarterfinals? I'm, well, I have a question for you yeah. about the the workouts in a second. The the one thing to that Chris's question. Workout two, I think, ruined this open for me because of the burpee mm. pull up standard. And the look, I, I, I like that workout for myself because I like burpees, yeah. but just the standards kind of, I don't know, it was very sketchy and yeah. the bar height and all of that. Yeah. And I don't think it was fair for affiliates that had to move bars or just people, hey, jump six inches yeah. higher. And, and it made a huge difference because I've had some people that just did it on Thursday night without thinking yeah. about the extra four inches. Cause 20 reps in that workout. For it was that huge. Fit. So there's yeah. a lot of people that are like, there's oh. people who didn't think about the extra four inches. <laughs> well, they don't get. <laughs> out of here with that <laughs> no no i wasn't taking no. a day oh you weren't uh, no no no. I, I, I you was a real was, question <laughs> yeah, I legit I meant, like early. jumping an extra four inches yeah. what were you yeah. thinking but about? if you're in an affiliate <laughs> and that's the only bar height they have there's you have no other choice yeah but I'm, i would be thinking about it i wouldn't be oh, like sure oh, you'd this complain. my mind yeah like, that's true fuck that All well right. thursday night i think is if you're doing it thursday night you're getting it and like going you're not really right processing all the details i don't think yeah hope you enjoyed that clip of the corpus animus podcast to hear the full episode where we talk about our thoughts on the open quarterfinal predictions what to do after the open if your season just ended and what to do if you made it to quarterfinals check out the audio version on all major podcast providers or peep the other clips here on youtube